TYT Sports Late Night here at the studio. We tried to play Xbox 360, but unfortunately, John Adarola's Xbox is broken. So now I am giving you the news on Isco. Now, uh, by the way, uh, this great monitor behind me uh, is not available because uh, our systems are somewhat down. So we're doing this on the backup, backup recorder. So bear with me. Now, uh, Isco uh, is 21 years old. He is a playmaker, a fantastic attacking midfielder who came up through the Valencia youth system. He played for Valencia B and then uh, he actually went up to the senior team of Valencia and only made four appearances. So then he moved to Malaga. He played under Manuel Pellegrini. There was much speculation that he would go to uh, Etihad Stadium and play for Pellegrini. Obviously he replaces Roberto Mancini there, but he is not going to Manchester City. He is going to Real Madrid. Now, the starting 11 is somewhat interesting, if you think about it. According to Goal.com, here's what they think it will be. Obviously, Iker Casillas, no doubt about it. Then Arbeloa, Ramos, Varane, and Marcelo uh, and on the back line. Luka Modric, Xabi Alonso in the midfield. Gareth Bale, if they do land him. Isco, and then Cristiano Ronaldo, and Kareem Benzema, the lone striker up top. With Higuain gone, they simply only have... Uh, Kareem Benzema, the Frenchman. So, uh, very quickly, a few quotes. Isco is one of the great players of Spain, and the club's technical staff believe he has the quality to play for Madrid. I know he is enthusiastic to come here, just as I am enthusiastic about him coming. That is Real Madrid president Fiorentino Perez. 12 goals and 47 appearances in all competition last season for the 21-year-old Spanish man. He must take a medical in order to clear all of this crap up. Carlo Ancelotti, obviously, is the new man at Real Madrid. This is a big signing for him. Not the biggest, but it is good. The bigger signing, the big fish, would be uh, for Gareth Bale at Tottenham, which would be, well, I don't know, 90 million euros. Uh, so the contract is reportedly worth five years. He may have a six-year option. Real Madrid is paying 27 to 30 million euros to Malaga for the rights to Isco. However, Angel Di Maria looks like he may be on his way out. There's speculation that he'll go to PSG, Paris Saint-Germain, or uh, uh, Manchester United. There are a few others that might be interested. There are a few others that Real Madrid could sign with Luis Suarez saying that he hates the media in England. I'm paraphrasing, summarizing. It's not actually what he said indirectly, though. We're going to keep it real here on TYT Sports. We have no filter. No filter. Hashtag. Hashtag no filter. Uh, it could be Luis Suarez. It could be Edinson Cavani. Neither of those names are the uh, exactly live up to the hype that is Gareth Bale when you think about transfer window process. But obviously landing Luis Suarez would not be bad at all. It would be interesting to see how they shake up the 4-2-3-1. Uh, uh, for Real Madrid. So uh, I get into a few of your tweets. I digress. I want to hear what you guys had to say. So here we go. Fuck. Forgot my phone. Allian tweets at Rickstrom. Real Madrid are impatient with young signings. If he doesn't deliver right away, they'll move on to the next. Bad move for Isco. Okay, interesting. Saeed Yama Akbari. If I said that correctly, give me a thumbs up. Another great talent on the verge of being ruined. Mm. That's some tough shit right there. Ted Zhao, my guy, Eddie. Uh, TJ Hooker, Tweet Strom. Does Real Madrid even need him? I can't see him taking the place of Ozio in the starting lineup. Uh, Oliver Furuseth, big Man City fan, says, why? We even had Pellegrini in a song. Let's have a disco silva, nava, cisco, na, na, na. If I said that correctly, uh, let me know. Plus, we had a deal with Real. Shame. D with uh, 45,000 underscores. As a Manchester City football club fan, I'm hurt. And then he puts in something that I can't really understand and translate. Doubt he'll play much with the stacked Real Madrid midfield. Plus, they still want to add Bale, and we'll see if they do. Daniel Prentice says, uh, will be interesting to see how much playing time he gets with Ozil there. And surely this means Kaká is going elsewhere. I completely agree. And I thought there was one more, but there isn't. So I want to hear what you guys have to say. Leave a thought in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to TYT Sports.